So as a facilitator, the very first time I remember just feeling this like boom, this like really deep rooted sense of home. It just was palpable. And I don't know what that was. Um, and I could tell other people were experiencing that too. But the first time I thought it was just the white cosmos. Um, but then I kept showing up without the white cosmos. And it really was just this, this really palpable sense of, yeah, yeah, we are intended to support each other in this really powerful way. And I was speaking with my friend Thibaku. Um, we'll link to him below. He's just a really genius, a beautiful human being. And I really love his work and um, I really love his heart. And we were talking about the boom deep resonance of it and he helped me to see an ancient link to indigenous cultures that I just hadn't really ever thought about but now makes perfect sense. And he, he was helping me to see that indigenous cultures that are rooted in medicine, um, it's, the, it's the obligation of the tribe, obligation is my word, it's very Eastern, Western sort of way to look at that. It's their obligation um, is to help each person to know at a deep level their medicine. Um, so, so the tribe rallies around and helps each other to reflect and, 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 and help them to understand what that is. So if somebody, a tribe member, becomes misaligned with their medicine, um, that has a you know, significant impact on themselves, on their family, and certainly the tribe. So they rally back around and help reflect and mirror back again that medicine so that they can uh, be a, an integral part of the tribe because the health of the tribe is, is contingent upon everybody um, accessing their medicine. You get it, right? Like, we get it. This makes perfect sense. You know, the, the, the health of a system, the health of a community is dependent on the health of the individuals. And, you know, you, you, you take the subway and you see people in the gray, and, and if you're like me, and I suspect you probably are, you want to help, you want to reach out. A really fundamental, really fundamental belief that we actually want to see each other succeed. And I think it's rooted in this, that we, we know on a cellular level that if we're functioning at 60% of our capacity, then as a system, as a community, we, we, just, we just can't survive at the level we want to survive. And the paradox, of course, is that we may understand this in a boom deep resonance place, that we're only as good as, as we're only um, as good as the, the, the as everybody around us, there's a much more articulate way to put that, um, yet our actions belie that. You know, we're raised in a very individualistic way to see each other as competition for the job, for the project, for the man, for the space. It's how we function, even as we say we deeply yearn for community and support. So, um, board of your life, um, feels to me like a really safe and productive and powerful way to uh, support each other, to get back to our medicine and um, for the good of the individual, for the good of each other, for the good of the tribe, for the good of the community, for the good of the whole. A little Pollyanna-esque, but that's a deep belief that I hold. Thank you so much for giving me this chance to riff on this piece of the board of your life. Really, really, really appreciate it. And Marion, I can't wait to see how you're going to stitch this in with your own experience with tribal cultures. Mwah!